On August 11, the S-15 stage, SIU-5 and payload for the 5th Saturn flight vehicle left Marshall aboard the barge Promise. The barge arrived at the Cape on August 21st, and the booster was delivered to Launch Complex 37B two days later. Erection was completed on August 26th. Booster fins and the S-4 spacer were installed. The instrument unit was structurally modified, transferred to the launch complex, and mated. Pre-launch checks and tests are being performed on schedule. No major problems have been encountered. Pre-static checkout of S-45 was completed early in August. The first flight acceptance test, attempted on August 5th, was aborted at 63 and 6 tenths seconds due to an indication of fire in the engine area. Subsequent investigations indicated that the fire detection system had malfunctioned. The second test, conducted August 12th, was successful. Preliminary review of test data indicated that all systems performed satisfactorily and all test objectives were achieved. Cutoff occurred with LOX depletion at 477 seconds as planned. Post-firing inspection revealed no damage to the stand and support equipment. Following post-static checkout and retrofit, the stage was removed from the stand on September 14th and preparation for shipment began. On September 20th, the S-45 stage left SACTO aboard the Guppy, which was recently certified under FAA regulations, and arrived at the Cape on September 21st. By mid-October, the stage will be mated to the SA-5 booster. Saturn V is scheduled for launch late next quarter. At Marshall's test laboratory, dynamic testing of the S-4 stage, instrument unit, Apollo spacecraft, and launch escape system for the SA-5 configuration was successfully completed early in this quarter. Following removal of the S-4 stage, instrument unit, and Apollo boilerplate from the stand in mid-July, Preparation for SA-6 dynamic testing was begun. On July 25th, the booster was erected in the dynamic stand and the fins installed. The S-4 stage, the instrument unit, and the Apollo boilerplate were erected within two weeks. Dynamic testing of the complete vehicle began on August 21st and is proceeding as planned. During the quarter, Fairchild Stratus continued development of the micrometeoroid satellite, which will be placed in orbit by SA-9 and SA-8. Design of the data satellite system was completed. The function of this system will be to collect, store, and condition for transmission to Earth micrometeoroid data collected by the satellite. In mid-July, the S-4 Dynamics Facilities Checkout Vehicle was successfully transported aboard the Guppy from the Atlantic Missile Range to the West Coast and return. The booster for the sixth Saturn I flight vehicle, SA-6, is presently undergoing post-static checkout. Completion of checkout and the remaining booster work, including shipment, have been revised to match the present S-4-6 schedule. Post-static checkout is now scheduled for completion in October. Preparation for shipment is underway, then the stage will be stored at Marshall until late December when Cape shipment will occur. Pre-static checkout of the booster for the seventh flight vehicle, SA-7, was completed early in September. The stage has now been erected in the static test stand and propellant loading operations are underway. The first test firing is scheduled for the 1st of October. At Marshall's Manufacturing Engineering Laboratory, assembly of the booster for SA-9 continued this quarter with engine installation completed on September 4th. At Michoud, Chrysler Corporation is completing S-18 tail area phase two assembly and installation. Inboard engines installation began late in August. Outboard engines are being modified. Stage assembly completion is expected September 30th as scheduled. 
Early in September, S110 fuel tanks were clustered. All engines have been received and are undergoing modification. Stage assembly is expected to be completed late next quarter as scheduled. Fabrication of the second stage adapter and tail section assemblies is underway for S1-111. Four 70-inch fuel tanks and a 105-inch LOX tank and two 70-inch LOX tanks were received by mid-September. Tank clustering is expected to begin early next quarter. At Michoud, the first booster checkout complex was activated this quarter. Delivery and checkout of Packard Bell automatic equipment is complete. The complex consists of Packard Bell 250 general purpose computers linked together by common memory elements under a master-slave circuit. Stage hardware forms a closed loop system which provides generation, switching, and response retrieval all under computer control. The equipment is scheduled to become operational next quarter, with S-1-8 checkout to begin in mid-October. At Santa Monica, retrofit and modification of the S-4-6 stage continued throughout the report period. Transfer of the stage to the test site was delayed, so certain modifications could be performed at Santa Monica rather than at SACTO. Flight qualification testing is expected to begin during October. S-47 stage is behind schedule due to late engineering releases and qualification testing problems. The S-49 stage has been moved to the assembly area and preparations are underway for start of final installation. Start of S-49 installation remains dependent on completion of S-47 work scheduled in the assembly tower. At Sacramento on August 21st, the all-systems S-4 vehicle underwent two successful propellant loading tests. Test objectives included functional checks of the common bulkhead system, propellant transfer system, LH-2 tanking system, and fuel tank insulation. Post-test inspection revealed no structural stage damage. Vehicle buildup to support hot firings has begun and is scheduled for completion by mid-November. At Marshall, SIU-6 checkout is proceeding satisfactorily. Pressure and functional tests, alignment, electrical continuity, and status checks have been completed. Electrical checkout was temporarily delayed due to modifications to bus distribution. The instrument unit is ready for integrated tests with the S-4 interface and the S-1 system. These tests will begin during October. Assembly of SIU-7 began at Marshall on August 12th and is continuing satisfactorily. Assembly completion is scheduled for November. On August 5th, MSFC and Chrysler completed negotiations modifying the present S-1 contract to include S-1B stages. The modified contract includes S-1 redesign to S-1B configuration, delivery of 12 S-1B stages, and reduction of the required number of S-1 stages to eight. Early in July, Marshall directed Chrysler to redesign S-1B fins. The eight S-1 stage stub fins did not provide an adequate vehicle stability margin for manned spacecraft manual abort. The redesign provides the required vehicle stability and a 2,500-pound S-1B stage weight reduction. The S-4B Saturn 1B contract negotiations at Santa Monica were completed on August 6th. The contract, signed by Douglas on September 10th, has been submitted to NASA headquarters for approval of manufacturing and delivering of four R&D S-4B 1B stages. Construction of the S-4B assembly building at Douglas's Huntington Beach facility is continuing and tooling is being installed. Assembly tower foundations have been finished and structural steel is being erected. Construction is behind schedule, however, because of delays in contract award. Present estimated start of stage assembly is November 30th.
At SACTO, Douglas has successfully completed S-4B battleship tank hydrostatic and mass spectrometer leak tests, as well as tank calibration. At the present time, the tank is being prepared for installation of the internal insulation and is scheduled to be installed in Beta Test Stand 1 by mid-November 1963. At Santa Monica, the S-4B dynamic stage fabrication and assembly is underway. The common bulkhead aft dome assembly is being prepared for welding to the just completed T-ring. All common bulkhead forward dome segments have been fabricated and are presently being installed in the Meridian welder. Three LH2 cylinder skins have been finished machined and are being formed at DAC's Long Beach facility, while two others are being rough machined at Santa Monica. Following milling machine adjustments, the cylinder skins will be finished machined and forwarded to Long Beach for forming. Construction of complex beta for S-4B testing is continuing on schedule. Erection of test stand one superstructure has now been completed with the exception of the way bridge. Test stand three's concrete foundation has been completed with erection of structural steel underway. Beta one instrumentation tunnel construction has been completed. Installation is 90% complete.